Good morning folks, it's Mitchell here again. Uh, we're going to do another video this morning. Today we're going to do how to grow a mango tree the right way. Uh, I know there's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do this and how to do that, but uh, a lot of times they don't show you how long it took them to get from start to finish. So they say, here, do this with mango seeds, and then bam, look at my plant. You know, well that's, that, that could have been two years that went through. So what I've done is I've broken it down into three different stages that seem to be the three most popular that they're doing online. I've timed them to see how many days it's taken and I've got results today to show you which is the actual proper way. And the actual way that turns out to be the best one is the way that I've been doing it the whole time. So hooray for me. But uh, I'm just going to point it down so you can see it. And we're going to go right at her. That looks pretty good. Okay. Scooter. Okay, so the one way that they keep saying to do it is to put it in a bowl, okay? Put it in a cup, put it in something and submerge it in water. This one in November 16th. Oh. This one in November 16th, okay? There's nothing about this seed that says it's going to sprout. Normally it sprouts out from right here. Nothing. Nothing, 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 nothing. So that's just... Uh, kind of junk as far as I'm concerned. So I don't like that method. I have seen other people use it and it does work. I've seen sprouts coming out of the top for them. But uh, again, I, I want to get things done. So when I do stuff, oh. So what I've done here, I've got like a little greenhouse thing going on. So I've got my soil, I've watered it, I've placed my seed inside, and then I've got my little dome over the top with an elastic and this creates a little greenhouse effect, right? So this would be something similar to the paper towel and plastic bag. So as you can see, the seeds don't get buried. I saw in a couple that they actually buried them, not in the not the way I do it. I like to stand them up so they're vertical. You know, like I said, the seed's gonna come out of right here. That's where it's gonna start to grow. So if I put it like that and it grows that way, then the other side right here is gonna crack and the actual growth will come up out of this. I've grown a whole bunch of these. And I don't wanna dig this out See if I can just clean it enough so you can see it there. Okay, just bear with me for a second. Hands all dirty. Okay, this method absolutely works. If you can see right there, let it focus. That is clearly a root that is growing out of the piece of the. So you can see the tip part right here, it splits, and that's clearly one. Well, I don't know if you can see, I get it all zoomed in, but that's clearly a root right there that's going down. So I absolutely don't want to mess around with that. So this one worked. Now the thing here is that you're going to leave it, uh, there's no need for you to take this out of the greenhouse thing you've got going on for a while. I mean, I don't want to have to constantly be watering this. It actually feels a little bit dry. So what I'm going to do is just give it a little shot of water and then I'm going to wrap it back up. Uh, I like to. I always like to water with warm water. It might be silly, but uh, you know, I just I think that when it's warm, things grow better. So why not give it a dose of warm water, right? We're gonna take our our plastic wrap, put it back over the top to keep our greenhouse in. Okay, now here's the thing. Okay, November 16th, I put this in. Today is November 22nd. I believe it's November 22nd. Yeah, November 22nd. So we've got four. Six days. It took me six days. It's the 24th? Okay, it's the 24th. So it took me eight days to sprout this. That's pretty good considering it's cold as hell. I mean, I'm in Canada. Right now it's minus like 15 Celsius outside. So, you know, that's, that's not a bad deal right there. Let's move on to the next one. This is my favorite way to do this. Uh, that works as well, but, uh, you know, it takes a lot of space unless you're going to put it in something small. Paper towel. Again, this went in on November 16th, so it took me eight days. And I already checked this one last night, so I know it worked. All I do is I just wet my paper towel. I fold it over a couple times with my seed inside. You know, I'm going to get a little bit of color on that. That's how it goes. There we go. There's my seed. And look at the root on that. You know, I'm going to put that in the ground today. And you watch, look at that. It has two big roots. So it's got one root right here, right? But it also has another root right there. Eight days. Eight days. 
So I just wanted to show you that these are the best ways to do this as far as I'm concerned. And if you can do this at home and get results in eight days, well, I think that that's what we're all looking for. So I'm going to keep you updated on this as they grow and get bigger. So we'll do stages. I'm going to show you how to clip them back. I'm going to show you how to prune them and get them to grow nice because otherwise they're just going to grow and shoot for the stars. And that's, nobody wants that. You want something that's going to be over in the corner of your house. It's going to look nice. Uh, when you do these, if you are serious, if you are serious about actually having it fruit, here's a number one lesson to learn, okay? Two is great, three is better. You need to have more than one to pollinate it, or at least sometimes you can cross pollinate. So if you have other trees in the house, orange trees, lemon trees, things like that, there's a chance that they can pollinate it. But generally as a rule, you need two of each plant to actually make it fruit. And I want to show you mangoes growing on this thing. So, excuse me. Anyways, folks, that's my video for today. I hope you like it. Uh, I absolutely recommend uh, this method here with the bag. I think the greenhouse wrap, pretty much the same method as the bag is where it's at. I absolutely do not think putting your seed in a bowl of water and letting it sit is where it's at. And I think there's proof in this video right there that that's really not the way to do it at all. So, thanks very much for watching. I'll keep making them.